Hello there, everybody. Give me just a sec to get all set up. Okay. While that is loading, I guess I will do my intro. What is up, everybody? It is Pac-Man. As always, thank you for stopping by. It is much appreciated. And today, of course, we're going to be continuing with our amazing adventure that we started in the last episode. And what is that, you may ask, if you are just tuning in? Well... We witnessed the birth of Chef Boyardee. Now, you can drop down in the description if you do want a, a full readout of Chef Boyardee's kind of motif. But in short, he's an insane chef. Yes, an in totally insane chef. And his whole goal in its entirety is to cause mayhem. That is right. So, we're just trying to level up and everything like that, and get our weapons, which would be a knife and a fork, which is a bit harder than you would think. But in the meantime, we're building our character, so let's go ahead and keep doing that. I gotta level up, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Boom. Alright, so we're now we're at even 100 across the board, except for stamina, of course. And again, we're doing that into like a 5 to 1 ratio on these. But we already got our Novus Alteration. We got our first step of enchanting. Definitely going to help us. Uh, definitely the next thing I want to do is get a little bit of alchemy. I want to do that because our chef only uses the finest in ingredients to go ahead and uh, accentuate his dishes, you know what I'm saying? But actually, oh, I, I wanted to see if it's possible. If you were to only use food items for healing, now, they're going to weigh a lot, but if we cook a lot of stuff, we may be able to actually accomplish that. As of right now, I'm going to be using potions, but it is very, very interesting thought, you know what I'm saying? It's a sword. Listen, could you take this? Thanks. And All right, what do we have in our inventory? We've got an el elven bow. We've got a bunch of basic crap. We've got a lot of potions, a lot of ingredients. All right. I think I need steel smithing in order to do that. That's a shame. But at least we got our first mission. Into the Bannered Mare we go. If I can help it, but damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. 
My thanks, friend. It's <coughs> your healing potion. I uh, found it in the temple. Not anymore, thanks to you, friend. Bye now. What can I get you? I assume you saw the Gilder Green? It's part of the Temple of Kinaret. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? The companions in Jorvasku? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Well, good to know. Thank you for the information, lady. Let's get going. Alright. So, Temple of Kinnereth is a place that we definitely need to hit up. Welcome, child. The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Camriel. <laughs> Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. <laughs> You can still feel the glory of the mother. <coughs> Even its name is in <coughs> I've thought about that. Trees of this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any Norman metal. If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hag can't find me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hag Raven nest called Orphan. All right, Orphan Rock it is. Orphan Rock it is. <coughs> Let's get a blessing of Kinnereth. Kinnereth is goddess of winds and sky, patron of travelers, and the first spirit of creation. My body I will not worship you. Sheagorath is my lord, but we still need to actually uh, access Sheagorath to get his blessing. You should talk to the Yarl of the Dragon's Reach. Lend any aid you can. Tell me! Glad to know that because I need your help. You see, uh, my am I misplaced. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront. I'll just wait here and make. She finally decided to return it to her father. Bless her heart. I will make sure this finds its way to his tomb as soon as possible. Thank you for bringing it, my child. The blessing of our cave be upon you.
Oh, damn. You see, little skeleton girl is fucking strong. I'm s stuck. What the hell? I got stuck. That sucks. Jesus. Skeleton Girl is OP. There, oh good, she didn't aggro, okay. Okay, I had to hit her first, and then after that she got locked out of her aggro. Nice. We survived it.
Just barely, but we survived it. Let's grab the unusual gem. Get out of here. And we were able to level up our restoration, which is nice. Nice spend. Oh, thank okay. Please take this gold for your troubles. And the blessing of RK be upon you. Fifteen gold. What a joke. Fifteen freaking gold. Reminds me of the movie Christmas Vacation. Grandpa's got a real bad burl on her heel, and if you rub it for me, I'll give you a whole quarter. And I'll give you a quarter too, Audrey. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Pure comic gold. Chevy Chase. Absolute comic genius. I'll give you a quarter too. I will, Audrey. I'm Skr. Let me show you the way of Talos. But as man. The guy has got some freaking bravado. <laughs> Alright, let them duke it out. Nice, we're level five. That is pretty good. Pretty good. But I still hear the call. A stranger comes to our hall. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. <laughs> a certain strength of spirit. Considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Bill. Last I checked, we had some empty <laughs> This definitely looks like the guy that you want to recruit, right? Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. I'm Chef Boyardee. The famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is And there are. Of course. How are you in battle? That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. All right, a free I bed. I've seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry, I forgot. Hey, at least he's honest. At least he's honest. I always go, hey, what's up, guy? How's that thing? Good? <laughs> <coughs> you know, that thing with the guy. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do. There you go. Not that. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Why, sir? I am Chef Boyardee. I never, I never 
You're worth nothing. My name's on the side of a cat. What brings you here? I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger. And he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman, her own. Not actually a companion myself. But none of them know how to work a forge properly. And I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. I have a favor to ask. I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. That's a good man. Rain or shine, sleet or snow, you can count on Heimskir to be spreading the word. In his words, let me show you the way of Talos. Iskramor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? <laughs> ah, a man of action. <coughs> Here, let's have Farkas show you. <coughs> 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 did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Are you on the hunt? What are you doing that for? Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. Alright, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle. I don't know what the fight is about. I just need you to go out there, look tough. No more than that. I don't want to hear about it. Try not to get carried away. Skior says that I have the strength of Ysgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. I was the newest companion into... You came along. I guess that's okay. It just means I can show you the ropes. And we awaken feeling rested.
And we are now officially a companion. Let me show you the power of Talos. <laughs> Let me show you. I love that. I love that delivery that that guy does. I mean, that's just pure dedication in that voice actor's throat. Let me show you the way of Talos. Come to dragons. Ah, taken and once you know, of course, I have everything you need for sale. I b ah, that re would you be so kind as to deliver? Good, you're clearly better suited than I am. You're clearly an asshole, sir. Okay, let's eat and s sample pretty much anything we don't know yet, right? Dragons reach to discuss the ongoing hush. All right, that gained us a level. Beautiful. And we are gaining levels. Okay, have an inchy. The Jarl from Adrian. Ah. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Twenty bucks. What is that shit? 
Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. You should be talking to my steward. Next time, deal with Avanichi. <laughs> He's kind of an asshole before he knows you're the Dragonborn, huh? Well, now that we've enchanted our tunic with a minor enchantment, we should be able to get things done a little bit easier, I think. Alright, so let's deliver these frost salts. Once we do that, we'll be a friend to the alchemist so we can raid her shop. We'll make some more potions. Rise up! Trouble? My fake drinking life. Let's get some tea. Life's hard and that bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger. I heard him boasting at the bannered mares. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull. I spend a once I've made enough money trading with the Kish before my mom. I met one of the caravan leaders. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? You know what? <clears throat> Bellathor, it's cool. Don't really need to talk to you right now. How about... We tan some leather. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy the finest weapons and armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I work for <coughs> the general goods store. Do you now? That's interesting. All right. Let's talk to this lady. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. You look right as long as you could. A little weep. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on foreign gar first. Oh. But I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Damn it. And we're also looking for our weapon of choice, which just so happens to be a wooden sword. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. If there's anything I can help you with, 
You have but to act. Alright, that was a lot of ingredients. That was a shit ton of ingredients. Let's go ahead. Okay, so one thing actually that's useful to do is they say right off the bat that wheat and blister wart. Ah, I'm out of wheat. I used it all for something else. Okay, what other potions do I know of just right off the top of my head? Useful ones, at least. Let's see, what do I have? Uh, I have sprig and sap. That would go well with, like, a giant's toe. You'll find tonics, salves, and stool. Potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. No? Okay, how about M stool? No? Well, at least I tried, and that did up our alchemy even more. Let's go ahead and level up. So we even those two out. Let's go ahead and keep working on stamina. I say <clears throat> a good thing to do actually would to be to invest in smithing. That is something we'll actually need. Uh, we started with our one-handed stuff, which is good. Let's see, what do we have? Light armor. Don't need any of that. Probably sneak. Stuff like that is going to be useful. Speech is not useful at all, honestly, but whatever. Okay, we've got a lot of choices. I say... Probably destruction... Nah. I would say maybe alteration dual casting. That'll be very useful. Alright, cool. That auto saved us, and ooh, we're already a chunk into level 6, which is nice. What's our speech at? Speech is at 21. Let's go ahead and talk to this Mikhail. See if we can get Carlotta in a better mood, yes? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone out. If it's a lady, you look. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. Bribing me? Well, Bard does need to eat. On my ancestor's honor, I won't trouble sweet Carlotta. Really? I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your kid. What's the matter? Can't stand the sight of a strong old woman. Got something for just about everybody in here. Every some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Do come back. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can actually train another five levels up in alchemy right off the bat right now since we're in town, but I would like to disperse my, you know, my level ups for that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. So, let's look at our map. We got Sophia's tracking marker. Ah. Oh. I have to intimidate somebody. I have to investigate the barrow. Let's return uh, the dagger, shall we? Oh, wait. Or we can go straight off over there. Let's go straight off over there. Why not? We'll pass by the Western Watchtower. <clears throat> Get this just taken care of, you know what I mean? Now, I could get Sophia as a follower, but I don't think so. Just would not fit this character. Cicero is this guy's main squeeze. That is for sure. For sure. And we're going to have to definitely get invited to the Dark Brotherhood. So we're going to have to go and uh, talk to a man named Aventus Arantino. But first and foremost, I want to get this done. Blessing of Mara is going to be very handy. It's one of those things that never goes away. Useful for any character build. You're all in one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but a gloomy day in Whiterun. Looks like it might rain. Oh yes, I wanted to soul trap something. Yes, even the minor souls are helpful.
Oh, damn. Got wrecked by a couple skeletons. Ooh, I can't wait to start perking up in, like, mage armor. Ooh, that's going to be definitely a game changer. Ah, I'm all the way back over here. All right, go to the stables. Let's try that again. No more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding? Why are we even going to this wedding in this far flung corner of the Empire? You dare talk smack against Skyrim? Yeah, this magic regen is actually not that bad, I'll tell you the truth. Let's go ahead and quick save it right here. I'm curious as to what god this is. Hmm. A wood elf god. That is interesting.
Wow. <laughs> Looks like uh, gravity was having some fun over there. Yes, we are good. And we have it. We have it. We have it. The hide shield. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is exactly what I wanted. That is part of our essential gear set. You better believe I'm going to be enchanting that with a really, 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 really powerful enchantment. Yes, and we are up another level in destruction. Absolutely marvelous. So I believe this should be the sleeping tree. Oh, damn it. I got greedy. I got greedy. I thought I could get the body and the chest. Nice. We were able to hit them both. Note the sightless pit. 
All right, now we got two things to talk to Yasolda about. The universe is just bringing us together, it seems. There's the monument, right over there. Right over there.
Rookie, where is she? We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Our fires are visible for miles. We're in a low valley. Sitting ducks. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Leave on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. All right, and back we go. And thankfully we were able to uh, gather a lot of the resources we need. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. caress on my cheek some time ago. I thought it to be a trick of the wind, but I think it was a message from my father. We've made peace with one another without even uttering a single word, and I'm content for the first time in my life. I thank you. Here, please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your selfless action. Please, come back and speak to me anytime. Greater Ward. That's actually kind of useful, lady. Thank you. Why, thank you very much. <laughs> Blessings of Mara upon you. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Riften is drowning in <coughs> sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. Oh my, how wonderful! <coughs> Lady Mara will be so pleased. Here you are. Now make sure you give out every single one. We can't afford to let even one lost soul stray from her warmth. You represent Mara now. Set an example for all. Yes, we are an agent of Mara, and as such, all of our restoration is actually perked up, which is nice. Very, very nice indeed. Now, do I have anything I want to sell while we're here? Yeah, I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Just what you see here. Safe travel. To tell about it. You're gonna buy just what you see here.
Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Good to see you. Exotic. Can I interest you in some fine goods from Mara? Can't help me. No one can. Anything you can find would be of great. Good luck. Is it absolutely necessary it's for you to find me right you now? Around. Working at the Riften. Oh, interesting. I'll read it this evening. New around Riften? Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. I prefer to Bella's teachings myself. Come to what brings you to Balaman today? Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. Hmm. Nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. I'm the brewmaster around it. What's this nonsense? Bah! You're crazy. You aren't making any sense. You're threatening me. <laughs> You've got some nerve. Welcome. Allow me to rec- I'll read it. Thank you. Come Good. back and see us again. Now maybe I can hey, back to work. Mara only helps those who can afford her tithes. This is nonsense. Not really my usual read, but I'll give it a try. We serve only All the right best then. here. Wow, that's almost the whole town already. Jeez. My skill in battle is unmatched. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Interesting. I'll look it over. I met her when in Blackmont. I already have the gold band. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. A common soldier to be excused. You got the point. You're welcome here. Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old septum. Everything else is just a waste. Be brief. If you're a lead, Mara this and Mara that. Where is she I've when hundreds of stone I've cloaks the are dying for no good reason? Perhaps not eh? often enough. Hmm. You're no Thanks for the stranger here too, huh? Watch Thank you. I'll share this with Eren. Bastard. Safe travels. Looking for work? I need some. Ah, I paid sip. I want you to talk to Sibby for. Good man. Head to the Riften Jail. You'll be well paid for your time. I hold my own beliefs, but thanks anyway. Alright, that's everybody inside of the B and Barb. Let's go on over to the bunkhouse. Any luck getting them? Thank you. Blessings upon you too. A blessings upon you too. Ain't that right, Boo Boo? Potions or ingredients, let me know. You here for lesson? I have no time for Marla or Mara or whatever her name is. Any luck There's work to be done. Whatever you're peddling, I'm not buying. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Thanks again for delivering that ore, Sam. Hmm. Never read any. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Get us if you
All right. So we only need, I think, Your maybe one place. more place. What did you need? Damn. They just made you too good looking, woman. Too good looking. Welcome to the Pond Pro. If only more people would read this, things might be better. In My husband. Be oh, how kind. Thank you. Wait, know you? Divine's blood. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. And back to the Temple of Mara. Blessings of Mara. I'm glad we're friends. I have something for you. Here. Thank you. What do you need, my friend? Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. Good journey, my child. Why, thank you. Thank you for the potion. Minor one, but it works. I appreciate it. Okay. So that means that, like, really just obtaining the marks of Debella and retrieving the bow are, like, the only things we have to do, right? Okay, over here, I'd have to deal with a bear and a saber cat, but I could go up and see Froki. Other than that, what? Uh, there's Sarthal. We could go to Sarthal, get that all taken care of. You know what? Yeah, let's go to Sarthal, get that whole thing buttoned up. That should allow us to uh, level up with the alteration trainer. Which is something that I definitely want to do. Why the Elven Blade, huh? Lord Steel not good enough for you. Actually, no, it is not good enough for me. I'm just looking for my fork. Or my butter knife. Preferably the butter knife, because the butter knife I can at least upgrade at the freaking grinding stone. If I'm gonna have to use a freaking fork or a knife, I'm going to upgrade them to the best of my abilities. Damn, my guy was fucking slow to fucking react to all of that shit. So that was a thief I was trying to avoid. Perhaps we can avoid him better this time, yes? Yes. Yes, I think so. Because Sarthal is definitely something I want to get taken care of.
Holy crap! That ice wolf could fucking climb, yo! That ice wolf could fucking climb. Fuck. <laughs> I've never had this much trouble getting to Sarthal before, even with fucking crazier enemies, you know, like dragons and trolls and shit. This is actually kind of funny. <clears throat> Okay, one big difference here. I'm going to go ahead and quick save right about here. And we'll just avoid that ice wolf. should limit myself to only using like the pickaxe until I can find myself a wooden sword or a freaking fork or something. Now here we all are. Shall we step inside? I can certainly share a bit of what I know. No. I dare say we don't have all day. Take a look. Stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Yes, always better to be cautious. As some of you may know, Sarthor was one of the earliest Nord settlements in Skyrim. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity. Well, are there any questions? Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? All right, everyone. Let's be careful.
All right, loading up on this minor stuff that I'm still gonna need. Don't touch. What? Ah, I've only looked through. Try and be careful, all right? All right, let's anything. grab these rings, shall we? I see. I'll add this to the rest of the items. I don't think there's anything further I need from you. Is it now, Tolftir? Is it really highly interesting? Because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? an imperial bow of binding. Alright, yes, we quick save that. Of course. 
And I've got to search that other body. Yes, of course. All the gold. Make sure you get all the gold. Be prepared to defend yourself. Oh, crap. Be prepared to defend yourself. seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why just this is simply fascinating. Take be prepared to defend yourself.
Ooh, nice. Got the kill cam and everything. Alright, well, let's change over our magic and whatnot. Let's just take a breather for a second. Yes. Wow, it is dark in here. Oh, shit. I forgot about the trap. Oh my god, again. The trap got me again. Oh my god, I suck at this game. I suck at this game. What the hell? That was just for shits and giggles, to be totally honest. Alright, now it's time to get serious. <clears throat> I need to catch that Draugr in that trap.
Well, we can go up two levels. That is useful. Okay, so I did want to get Novice Restoration. And let's get another rank of arms, or wait, actually, let's get fighting stance. Oh my god! That power attack actually took out a lot of damage. More than I thought it would. Um, alright, alright. We've got to rethink this just a tad then. Just a slight change in the calculation here. Actually, let's go balls out, armsman.
Oof, jeez. Let's quick save that.
Meatballs ahoy! Yes, how are you, sir? We are right now just... Yes, 9 billion arrows later. These enemies in Legendary are total damage sponges. But, hey, we got through it. Damn. I was able to salvage without any perks 20 arrows. That tells you how many I put into it. Okay, yes, let's quick save. I don't want to have to go through that shit again. That is for sure. Oh, okay. That's a lightning trap, I believe. And I don't have any lightning spells. Let's see if I can... Yes, I can trip it with a flame spell. Beautiful. Okay. We got our code here. Okay. So, snake, whale. Was there any other ones? Snake to the left, whale to the right. Okay. Ah. Ah, I see. Okay. So, snake, whale. Whale bird. That's whale bird already. I see, I see. It's a snake whale. Oh, we need a bird here. Beautiful. Got it. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. I thought it high time I caught up with you. Yes, I thought it high time that I catch up with you. Now that you've cleared out all that fucking rabble for me. Right? Is that how it is, Tolftier? I see right through you, my friend. Yeah, that armor is way too heavy. Dwarves Volume 2. Okay, well, let's make ourselves some potions. Restore stamina. That's pretty much all I got, it looks like. Whatever. I'll take it. Take whatever I can get at this point. Damn. I didn't think I was carrying that much shit. What can I get rid of? Sorry, Iron Sword, but you are of no use to me. Quick save. Well, and into this mess we come. Would you look at that? Over here. Crap. Nothing seems to work. Keep him busy while I run over here and hide. Oh. Wrong spell. Wrong spell. And let's 
switch over to the Amulet of Mara. Let's take one of more of these just to be safe. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my distance from you, good sir. Ooh, yes, I will use your staff, though. Damn! Blasted his ass. Well, if you're talking about that pink elephant that's just walking across the room nonchalantly, then yes. Otherwise, not sure what you're talking about, sir. Uh, Loot, loot, loot. Never forget to loot. Be prepared to do. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got it though. Ooh, yes. Immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savos Aran of this discovery? Please hurry. Very cool looking. Very, very cool looking though. Love the way that the uh, Eye of Magnus looks. That is something we can use. Most definitely we could use that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and level up after we go ahead and get this word anyways. Okay, so I amended. What we're going to do is we're going to go two to one. So we're going to go stamina now. 
And now we're level 40 one-handed. We could go ahead and keep on working that, work on damage output. Or we can do what we were doing before and just go gradually. You know, getting kind of the base of each of them. I'm not so sure about that, though, going that route. Either way, I did want to get at least novice reg restoration. That's good either way, no matter what. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, down this right here. But yes, that circlet of alchemy is going to come in handy. That'll allow us to get some very interesting enchantments on our fork and knives as soon as we get them. And we can accumulate a lot of them, actually. Like, on one of my characters I have, like, that I've been playing for a while, it's like a level 75 or something like that. I think I have somewhere around about, like, 20 of each. And to the college we go. Gotta watch my ass for freaking werewolves. Go ahead and sell some stuff, yeah. Give you a bit of a there are purposely if you're going to need live chess sub I hope you've got some cool well, let's just take a look then all right let's sell them what we don't need honestly I'm loving this imperial bow binding but I'm probably gonna disenchant it let's go ahead and perhaps we should start using a dagger that's more of our RP until we actually get what we need right Having an elven sword is kind of, uh, I don't know, feels kind of like cheating. I'll still keep the elven sword, though, but I will keep that orcish dagger. Nice. That filled our coffers back up. Yes, it did. Till next time. Ah, oh, yes, we can finally walk around unimpeded. Okay. There's nothing up here of any interest. Maribel. Let's just get a little sleep. Oh, yes. Let's loot these. We'll just go to sleep for an hour, you know. Save and whatnot.
All right, let's go talk to Savo Seven. You are relatively new here, are you? I am sa I am quite... But I do... Are we clear? Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has... Very well. Thank you for br... Tolfti... Since he's... Speak with... U and... Good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Why, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Now, I'm actually going to disenchant this and disenchant that. There we go. And I can also actually give stuff like my gloves and stuff like that an enchantment. I can also actually jack his spare set of robes, but that's against the RP of this character. He's not wearing anything but ragged robes or the chef's tunic, so... Scratch that idea. Mr. Urag. Mr. Urag. I don't want to see you treating it. You are now in the Arcanium. Disrupt now. Do you require... I know what you... Well, you don't even need that. I said... I think one of those volumes... Yes, go to the tower and get it. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Until next time. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sark. I have questions for you. It come to my attention that something was found. I know full well that you have. Please do not insult my intelligence. Torfdir is still there now, is he? I shall expect a full report when he returns. Something was discovered in Sarkol that was significant enough that Torfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver work. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. What a dick. Just saying. The guy's a bit of a dick. That's the kind of guy that you bring out into the middle of nowhere to test your shouts on. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Yep, he's definitely that kind of guy that you bring out into the middle of nowhere to test spells on. He has a test subject kind of vibe to him, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got Sarthal done. You know what that means? That we got necklace that I kind of wanted because it's useful. All right, so what next? What next? We need to grab the attention of Mr. Falkreath, Jarl. Let's see, let's get rid of this mammoth tusk with Yasolda, and then we'll go over to the stables, and we'll head over to uh, Windhelm. Got some missions that I want to do over there, but... The Dark Brotherhood stuff actually would fit us like a glove. Wait. No. 
I'm actually going to reload that. Why? Because I don't want to have to deal with a bounty in white run with this character. He's still in his squeaky clean phase. You know what I'm saying? Hillgood's too. Thing about those old crypts, the dead having trouble. I've been looking for you. Away. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Come by, Bella. The market. I'm sure we've got something. Hey, sir, Once I've made enough, thank you. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Did you? If you found any of the sap, I'd be willing to pay you the same cut I offered him. Ah, of course. Spare Very good. Be sure to bring any more sleeping tree sap you find to me. Farewell. Nice, another six hundred gold. Well met. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Okay. Don't know why you're sneaking around all suspiciously, bro, but whatever, what floats your boat, I guess. I can take you to any of the whole. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. Can cast a few spells, citizen. Am I supposed to be impressed? Wow, Falkreath is looking beautiful today. That's for sure. Yes. I'm Chef Boyardee. Now we'll see well, if hello. the about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Ah, knife point. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. That's going to be a difficult one. Damn. B. 
beautiful day though. Absolutely gorgeous. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Look at the window. Look at the city skyrim by something. Say the big old palace there was built by these things themselves. our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. Yes, we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, it's maybe the point. reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be saying. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. Spare a we got Up ways to no of good, are we? You really are. I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to book? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow views. Yes, yes, I do. I've already sent instructions. You just need to make sure this arrives in one piece. One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Everyone's need some metal. Take a look. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Hermir. Ah, uh, don't let my words. Jarl, getting the... If you find that sword, traveler, I'd be grateful. I lost my... Huh? Everything you... I also do a... Hey, could you deliver this bottle of... Thanks. Good day to you. I made... ...action as a seeker, but now I'm retired. I don't have... ...trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Thank you, custom.
I swear, doing this part of the city is almost like routine, you know? Master, you're far too old for this one. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Just a man's life. You? It's better. You're all Look, please, don't dally. I've... Yes, yes, I've heard the quest a billion and a half times, the good sir. Major, not they don't really complain. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Yes, yes, I can, and I will. I still can. That is my main goal. Friend. The legend. I want to get it master. Well, I'm gonna make a bunch of them, but my end goal is to get one enchanted with the chaos enchantment, and probably, probably absorbing magic, and then I'm going to have a couple of, or and then I'm gonna have a fork. I'm probably gonna name it like Namira's fork, and I'm gonna have it. Uh, steal life and steal uh, um, stamina. So I'll be stealing health, stamina, and magicka, and dealing chaos damage. That's that's like my main goal right there. The butcher versus the chef. Oh yeah. I'm really only here right now to go ahead and start off the Dark Brotherhood quest, so... It's not that simple. You'll definitely get to that, that's for sure. Oh, no! Bugged out texture. That means things are getting a little bit unstable. my goods are legitimate. Of Oh, by Azura, I've made it. It's not that. Look, it's dangerous. Yes, yes, I just want your coin, good sir. Paralyzed practice arrows, yes, I was thinking. I knew it. Ah, cr first crash. Not bad. Two and a half hours in. That is not bad at all. Yeah, I'll have to go to what? Alyssa's hut. And then she's the only person I think who has practice arrows. And then um, I was thinking about going with a longbow. <laughs> there we go. I was thinking about going with a longbow and then using practice arrows. Um, except I'm gonna have the longbow enchanted with um, definitely chaos and probably soul, uh, probably fiery soul trap. Actually, fiery soul trap is a combination of fire damage and soul trap. That's on only one weapon in the game. So, yeah, maybe fiery soul trap and chaos on the knife, and absorb health and stamina on the fork. Yes, I think that'll work. Aventus. Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of your word you must be baptized in blood and fear. The chase to die for. Ooh, a silver mother, emerald mother, necklace. Send your child unto me, it's for pretty the sins nice. Of your word you must be baptized in blood and fear. 
sweet mother, 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 so I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill for all the kind. Ah, innocence lost. Probably one of the best quests in this game, I think. In my personal opinion. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I know. That'd be so cool. You know what? I'll run up this way. Why not? Why not? Oh, chef is looking good. I don't know. It's either staying with the chef outfit or going with the ra or ragged trousers. The ragged trousers. I think I'm gonna change over to the ragged trousers as soon as I get like. I don't know. A little bit further. <laughs> oh, don't give us a straight answer. He's a true lord. He'll come around. I spent my life serving cows. I don't plan to stop. Just... Dallas created the empire. I think they'd show him more respect. Frick needs a fit. Oh, yeah. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. Where's these vampires? Steel. Oh, well. We need to wipe them out before things get worse. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Don't need to pay me no money. I'm a leader. Don't worry, sir. I ain't paying you no mind. You just won't shut the fuck up. Alright. I could get a bunch of quests at the dock, but eh, I'm not really all that interested in it, to tell you the truth. I just wanted to start Aventus Arantino's little quest. Uh, I liked how with our Khajiit character, we just totally like body slammed her into oblivion. Those who shirk their duties will get him. You know what? I'm not even going to let her finish what she's saying. Let's just kill her outright. Extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes and one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of them. No more. I feel <laughs> kids i just i just made their day this is the happiest day of their lives all right 
So that's done. We need to speak with Sibe. Let's speak with Sibe. no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen good- Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Sure, and I'm queen. Sure, that'll do just fine. Go on ahead. Wow, so if you come to the jail... Damn it, those are regular ones. So if you come to the jail... What, they can't confiscate any of your shit? Is that the case? Why did I just steal that wooden bowl? I do not know. No idea whatsoever. But anything that is not marked as stealing, I am taking. <laughs> ah, now I'm carrying too much shit. Good. That's how it should be. This dude is her struggle life until she has it. I guess that works. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Sviddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry the hilarious family in Rift. Sheogorad pursue. Pays me. I'd do anything to have that whore. Ah, that's the spirit. Ah, let me guess. He wants his horse. What a, that is cr my. Still, I don't want to cross the trush. I obviously. Take it. Ah, but since I have a good, reliable source of barkeep or er, of uh, of chef's clothing, this is going to be very easy. I mean. The Radiant Raiment sells almost everything when it comes to clothing, thankfully. Even stuff that I don't really see people wearing, like around Skyrim. Ah, beautiful day in the rift. I'd have to say that the rift 
has got uh, Falkreath definitely kind of in a competition for the most beautiful place, you know. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Clothing enchanting? I haven't decided yet. Probably I'm going to have to invest in stamina, definitely. Um, it's a fine day with you around. Stamina, health, health regen, stamina regen, magicka regen, probably muffle, that type of stuff. I've anything you wish to sell? I learned record. I spent years looking for what. Just what you see here. All right, let's sell some shit, shall we? Staff of Mage Light, don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. I'll keep those trousers though. Silver emerald necklace. We'll just go ahead and sell that. Anything else I want to sell real quick? No. All right. Anything good. Can find would be of great help. Good luck. So we leveled up. Okay, so I just have Enchanter 1. We are going to want, definitely, Soul Squeezer is useful, but this one over here, Soul Siphon, this one is very useful. And of course, we're going to want these over here, Corpus Enchanter, Insightful Enchanter. But we could go for basic strength of our enchantments. Otherwise, I do want to get smithing. Because the butter knife you can improve by just a little bit, and I want to get it to legendary condition. So we're going to start on our path with smithing. Come to see that miracles with steel, eh? What brings you to bat? You wish to do what I do? Very well. Still, I cannot upgrade the pickaxe for some reason. Or the hide shield, even though I have the components. That is interesting. But hey, I needed to skill up anyways, right? Oh, cool. I got everything. I could return this crap to the mage. Perhaps I should actually, now that I'm level 10, perhaps I should... Heard they're informing the dawn dog. Huh. you? I had you figured so, for a mage. Do you have stone flesh? Yes, you do. Hmm. Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. Okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? That's a pretty good uh, scroll. That is a pretty good scroll indeed. So, all right. We got stone flesh. That'll help us out a lot more than oak flesh, that's for sure. I am going to have to skill up to apprentice now. That shouldn't be too hard. There, that adds different types of different metal knives and forks. <laughs> yes, or a stall rim one. That would be hilarious. I would make a stall rim fork super weapon. Alright, let's give Aventus the good news. Yeah, I should clean out those warehouses. If I do that, then I'll be able to get a house. And then if I decorate the porch in the back, there is a fork and a knife, so. 
Ah, yes. A spork. be funny if the enchantment on the spork was just like all edible items heal for an additional 50% or something like that. That would be hilarious. Spork staff. But imagine like quirky magical effects like, you know, with, with the knife, you know, target bleeds for, well, you know, a certain amount of time uh, and Here, just like I promised. Yes, harvest I butter off their I body when they die. Thank you again. <laughs> All right, cool. We got innocence lost. Done and done. Okay, so what to do now? Um, I only have five lock picks, so I don't want to risk breaking them all on her expert lock door. How about? We do something else, yes. So now that Grelod has uh, died, huh? Just thinking. If I go back to Riften, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we're going back to Riften. Yeah, it has like a 50% chance to drop like milk, butter, or honey. That'd be hilarious. Or bears drop honey and stuff like that. that... <laughs> Come to see Balmain before he opens with seal, hey? I'm off work at the Blackfriar Meadery. I'll be back there in the morning. <laughs> yes. That would be fantastic. I wish there was a mod for something like that. Okay. Now, everybody's probably sleeping, right? No? Nobody's sleeping yet? Please help me. I'm going to lose my job. My job. I... If you could give me a healing... Your kindness. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. A gold sapphire Did ring. Ring anything? I will take it. The pain. You have... You have questions. I'm not the dumb... I got mine off a merchant ship. Bully, I used... It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. Tidings. It is on... Look, I don't think I should... Okay. I... You can't get inside, though. I... When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. You've been kind. I thank you. Any luck yet from those men? No luck yet, sweetie. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. I've been looking for you. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Looks like that's it. Got to. All right, so that's our mysterious note. Yes, we know. What I've been waiting for, of course. Take my That'd be hilarious. Make like a like a whole quest like make it like Shea Gorat's arrow, you know? And like it's like an arrow that Yes, I'm like has like the power of the Wabajack, you know, and it's like infinite or something like that. That would be hilarious. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. 
However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Good journey to you. Okay, cool. And how much cash do I have? 812. I gotta stop spending the money that I'm making on trainers and stuff like that. But honestly, trainers are like the fastest way other than doing exploits of leveling up, you know? Buying and selling fine jewelry here. That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Okay, cool. I think it's level 15 where that other Argonian lady shows up with that uh, lexicon. But okay, so we are here. And I don't have enough Magicka yet until I get that perk, so... Alright, well, I guess let's get this party started, shall we? Oh, damn. They fucked... Wow. They fucked me up so bad that I fell through the goddamn floor. Damn. Yep, they kicked my ass. Someone there? There you are. Holy moly. Oh, damn. Oh, nice. Now I'll only have to deal with one of them. Alright, so that I think calls for a quick save. Let's recharge our oak flesh. And let's do a weak paralysis po poison.
I knew it. Okay, so now that that is done, we do a frostbite venom. We do a damage health. We do another frostbite venom. We do a stamina poison. We do a frostbite venom. We do a damage health. Frostbite venom. I couldn't even run past him. Holy crap. Wow. Even after doing all of that poison. I poisoned... Well, that's the thing. I paralysis poisoned him. Then I poisoned him like, like 20 times. And that fool just like... Oh, crap. I think... The guards might help me out here. No one crosses me. Nice. All right. Cool. We were able to not only coax him out, but we were able to get the guards to help us kill him. Nice. That works. That works. I will take being over encumbered over dying any day. Ah, yes. That feels good. Now let's get us some skooma. <laughs> Pretty much just like, yep, thanks for the help, good sir. Wow, I've actually never gone through Legendary any character without using, like, armor before. You know, I've done, like, a lot of pure mage-type builds, but you at least have, you know, like, mages' robes and stuff. I've actually never tried one with, you know, I have, like, a really crap enchantment on my chef's outfit that I put on there, but... I don't think I've ever done it like this, where I'm pretty much just wearing regular clothes. Ah, beautiful day in the rift. I mean, just look at that. That is gorgeous. And Stony Creek Cave. I mean, just as long as I have a follower, it shouldn't be... Destruction magic's fine. Just you know, burning down any building. too hard. But I need a follower. I should probably go help out Cicero. This broken wagon wheel.
come to take a look. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. <laughs> I used to be an actor like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Oh, did you? It'd be funny if you got like a bow that was just like the kneecapper or something like that, and pretty much what it did is it made like it made a special ability that makes guards like collapse on the ground and they they have to get back what up. Can I do for you? It's nice to receive good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Then there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus's associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. Do this task for me, and you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Good. Report back to me when your task is complete. Good journey. All right. Did we have an appointment? No. Okay. Well, I think to help us level, let's go ahead and see if we can make any potions. Restore magicka. Yes, I will do. Nice. Fire, damage, health. Yes, I want to keep all of that though. That's fine for now. Just one. Just one. Okay, so on my trusty chef's hat, what, uh, fortify alchemy. Now, I want to make actually a separate thing for my fortify alchemy and stuff. Fortify magic regen. Or just fortify magic. I like the magic regen, actually. Enchanters could pull that off. Why, thank you. What is it, Imperial? Never seen anybody enchant a chef's hat before, have you? Moon sugar. Yeah, I know, like a more modular style of modding. Yeah, that would be nice. Kind of like how it is in Fallout 4, you know? Okay, um, now we need to level up so we can go ahead and perk up alteration. So, you know what? Let's go help Cicero. There was a chance to level up my speech, but I just wanted to help Cicero either way. And we're going to wait till daytime because I don't want to fumble around at night. That is just going to be annoying as hell. Okay. We're gonna have to find a lot more when it comes to like enchanted weapons and stuff like that. I need to definitely get, you know, some decent enchantments banked up so I can get those done. And on to weapons, namely the fork and knife. 
We'll make some preliminary ones, and then as we gather more, then we'll go ahead and get our final enchantment on them. But I will use them as soon as I pick them up, so... <laughs> yeah, I know. Should be able to do it, but, you know, limitations of the engine at the time of the release of this, you know? Uh, the, the dawn god. Oh yes, we may as well discover the location of all the farms. Ah, Dawn in Whiterun. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Oh, you mean like Skyblivian and and uh, and the uh, Morrowind uh, m mods? Are you talking about those, or are you talking about official Bethesda remakes? Oh, well, I mean, if you're talking official Bethesda, I have a feeling that they're never gonna do that shit. They changed their business model. Even though that's like the smart thing to do, they Remember? still wouldn't do it. Some old lady who runs an old Talk to the steward up in the keep. Interested. Hail companion. All right, good. I didn't accidentally hit one of them. That's what I was scared of. Because I hate having bounties in the major cities. It just makes things so annoying. Ah, oh, yes, our boy Cicero is here. Why, hello, Mr. Cicero. Oh, father and me fuddled. Stuck here. Stuck. My mother, my poor mother. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Ah! Oh, <laughs> Dude, if you want to, I mean, I don't know if you play on console or not, um, but if you're a PC player, I mean, just do Skyblivian. Like, me personally, I'm... The one thing I'm waiting for the most is actually a Fallout mod. 
Oh, you're on console. Oh, okay. Um, that Cicero fella. Huh. Let's see. I'm I'm personally know. waiting Crazy for Fallout for New Vegas, he's not and it's like things. modders are remaking Why Fallout just leave us uh, alone? New Vegas in the Fallout 4 engine. And they've done actually some good progress on it. I'm hoping they can finish it. Jester here in Skyrim ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years, and he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. In no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. All right, good. At least we passed the speech check. That means that we are progressing in speech as we are aiming to. Poor mother! Your home seems so very far. You... you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny clink gold, a few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> well, we got to help Cicero. Don't worry, buddy. I'll finish the Night Mother's quest, and I will get you as a companion. That is for damn sure. Damn sure. Alright. Well, I think that's a good starting point. But when we go over here and grab the stolen books, which I do want to do, definitely. Um, but okay. See, I've been streaming for a little over three hours. I think it's a good time to go ahead and cut it for the day. I wish I had a PC set up. I want to try that new mod. Oh, Embryo? Yeah. Actually, I was thinking about starting to stream that myself. Um, I've uh, been hearing a lot of good things about it. So, But actually... If you want, I can get started into... I'd have to go to the Abandoned Grotto right over here, or I could go right over here. But I have two mods right now that are just... Com that completely change the game. Like, it's a brand new quest line and everything. But, you know, I have been trying to, like, create the characters first. The thing about doing, like, constantly creating new characters, I just installed a new mod pack, so all my other characters were you know, new like this one. And unfortunately, it just takes a while to, you know, build up the characters, you know what I mean? But uh, let's go ahead and uh, travel to the Blue Palace. I'm going to uh, drop off this book really quick, get it out of our inventory, get a little bit of coin, and then I'm going to go ahead and sign off, I think. Yes? Not in your life. It's dangerous. If you really want to, oh. just be like a ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel Nice! Good. We finally passed the speech check. Ah, I might dive back into Fallout 4. I was working on a uh, brawler melee build. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human. But those bruiser builds can be fun to do every now and then, but, you know, those characters are very, very difficult to uh, master. Goes right through me. 
Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers. Give me the cheese. Detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Okay, these are all regular forks, Smile. regular knives, it looks like. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Damn. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sport. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, oh, ho, ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph. Well, then, yeah, with that character, I mean, the thing is, is that I have to make him such a tank in order to survive survival mode. I mean... He yes, just gets his so ass beat down by anything. Because, I mean, like, even if... Like, the thing about survival mode is, honestly, somebody with a pipe pistol can literally just, like, wreck you. Oh, oh. well... But seriously, what's the message? Where you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwalls. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you? Actually, think you can convince me to leave. Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself. Well, I have a mod that has a backpack already in this game. Um, I just turned it off, honestly, because it's like I don't know. It makes things too easy. Now that's the real question, isn't? it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra But really Fallout 4 need? also has that as well. So, um, yes, I point? was playing Fallout 4 I'm vanilla, but I might start right. modding it out, well honestly. Holiday complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. Because it's amazing actually how much is in that game vanilla. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated makes things infinitely more interesting care to take a look around this is not but I what i really really wanted to make in fallout 4 was like a children of adam centric character you know like a hyper radiation build and i was actually getting pretty decently far but i stopped for some reason you're in the head of a dead homicidally insane monarch now, oh, yeah, the camp mod? It. Yeah. Can I still rely on my swords and spells? The camp mod looks like it's freaking useful sure. as hell. Sure. Or you could use the web attack! Huh? The one thing I hated about that game though that is coming, that you need high charisma just so you can build crafting stations. You know, it's just so bullshit. Like if you want to build a fucking cooking station, you you, it down it's like the path you need the Local leader level you, two. Just, suffered it's just, just like what the age. hell? All you need to do is find something to wake our poor police. I mean, I do You'll not think it takes that much charisma to set up a persistent. fucking campfire. You know what I'm saying?
something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never really got into modding Fallout. I was always like heavy into modding Skyrim, but never Fallout for some reason. I probably should start modding out my Fallout 4. Ah, I did a little bit with my New Vegas, but mostly Pelagius just like, and feared many you know, things. like uh, assassins, wild dogs, you know, like texture packs and stuff like that, you know. I did see a mod that added like scorch beasts and stuff oh, like that. Good it was choice. hilarious. Well, good for me. It's like that's how much of a freaking reskin that <laughs> game that you game might is. Find it so sad. You see, Pelagius's mother was well, let us say unique. Although I suppose in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a second. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Forget that word. Oh, but she taught her son. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And... We're that much closer to home. A giant versus a behemoth? Uh, I think the super mean behemoth's got that one taken care of. I have a sick. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are. You've actually succeeded and survived. I'm first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septim the... What's the mad emperor of Tamriel? Now oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the shivering eyes. <laughs> For some reason, just fine clothes do not look right on this guy. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Oh. You've taken me back. Um, those are, yeah, those are just frost giants, yeah. They're just called frost giants. Or, I would say, what about, like, Karstag versus Swan? Feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my, I'll just take the down thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha ha! Did it give me? Yes, except Sheogorath. All right.
Now we can pray to Sheagorath. The Wabajack wielding Kitchen Nightmare himself, Chef Boyardee. Alright, so we got his costume done. We got his his weapon, his staff weapon of choice, and his religion done. Alright know what that means that means all we have left is to get the weapons that is right Walk on over to the Bard's College, shall we? I do love the uh, the uh, the homes that you can download for Skyrim, though. Oh my God, so good! The one thing I always hated about settlements in Fallout Four is just. You could never get, like, a a player home of the quality that you can in this game. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot more love that goes into the player home mods for Skyrim than Fallout 4. But, yeah. I'm definitely going to get it back into Fallout 4. But I gotta, honestly, I gotta start playing GTA 5 more. I've got to get back to playing some No Man's Sky. Oh yes, I definitely am going to be doing that. That's for sure. The Ring of Namira. Oh yes. That's actually probably the next Danger Quest line that I'm going to be doing for this character. Okay, now I gotta find this fucker's room. Give me just a moment. I forgot which one. Ah, I think it's actually this one. But just to make sure, I'm gonna check all the other rooms. Can you wear the chef hat and... The reader's blindfold. I am not familiar with that item. Wait, that would be a woman. Okay. Armo, okay. 
So where is this guy? Ah, he must be outside. Perhaps walking back from the pub. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they uh, occupy the same slot or not. Probably not, but... I'm not sure. Gerard, where are you, Gerard? You see, I was just in there. What the hell? Where were you? Because I was just there. Gerard Germain. Okay, it shows that he's like right in front of me. I would assume that he's downstairs, probably sitting at a bench or something. It's probably why I wasn't able to see him. Oh, yes, yes, Hello, yes. the executioner's hood. I'll look over this later. What if, well, you've come to the right place. All right. So that is done. We got the book delivered and we got our stuff. So now we just need the fork, the knife, and a longbow and the practice arrows and he's fully equipped. From there it's just upping his game with enchanting and all that kind of stuff. But I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. Thank you very much for stopping by as always and uh yeah, I'll see you on the next one. I'm probably going to do GTA 5 on the next one, just a heads up. So, But let's drop a manual save real quick. A new one. There we go. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, hell yeah. Fit in just fine, that's for sure. But yeah, I'll see you later. Peace out, man.